Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I have a really special car for you guys today. This is a 2014 Porsche 911 Carrera 4S. And in this video, we're gonna go over some of the cool features of the exterior and the interior, as well as get an exhaust clip of this beautiful Porsche. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, taking a look at the front bumper here, we have the older style uh, daytime running lights. We have the uh, aggressive front uh, bumper here. This does not have the updated uh, LED uh, headlights. I'm not even sure if they were available in 2014 for the Carrera 4S. So you have the standard HID, HID projectors. You have LED turn signals in the front. As you can see, it has a very beautiful metallic flake in it. You can see the Porsche crest right there. I also forgot to mention that there are headlight washers right there in chrome. Moving along to the wheels here. These are the 20 inch turbo three style wheels wrapped in 245-35 R20 tires. These are Pirelli P0s. And behind it, you can see the red Porsche brake caliper. These are not the carbon ceramics, but I believe they are six piston front brakes. Coming along the side here, you can see the distinctive Porsche 911 silhouette here. If we take a look at the rear wheels here, these are 305 3020s with four piston rear brake calipers, as well as the same, obviously turbo three style wheels. Coming to the back here, because this is a Carrera 4S, it has the extended light bar that runs between the two brake lights. You have the full LED turn signals and brake lights there. You have the Porsche Sport exhaust, the Carrera 4S badging. Moving around to the uh, passenger side here, you can see this car is just absolutely beautiful in Porsche fashion. That's the fuel filler door right there. Overall, just an amazing, timeless piece of design. Okay, so before we take a look at the interior, let's go ahead and look at the front trunk. All you have to do to open it is just pull this switch in the front here around to the front find the latch supported very nicely it takes minimal effort to open it as you can see it's a pretty standard Porsche front trunk here you have your accessories the washer fluid fill up as well as a few other things in here it is pretty deep but uh, I wouldn't pack for more than uh, a weekend with this car okay so let's go ahead and take a look at the interior go ahead and open the door here Immediately, you can see that this is the standard black leather interior. You have the aluminum door handle, power window switches, power mirrors, two-person memory for the, I believe these are the 14-way uh, power adjustable seats. This has the standard Bose audio system. I believe a Burmester or Burmeister system was optional. Taking a look at the interior here, you can see this is pretty standard uh, 991. Porsche Carrera, you can see the standard uh, button layout here that they've uh, carried over and allowed other Porsche models recently. You have the heated and cooled seats, the dual climate control. You also have the navigation system. This does have Sport Chrono, so you can see it has the stopwatch at the top of the dashboard. It also has the Sport Plus button, the adaptive suspension button, traction control, sport exhaust, auto start stop, to raise and lower the rear wing. And these are the controls for the panoramic roof. You have this beautiful suede headliner. As you can see, we have the base steering wheel here with the paddle shifters for the seven speed PDK transmission. We have the traditional five dial layout for the 911 here. 200 mile an hour speedometer, Carrera 4S silhouette in the uh, gauge cluster over there. I want to point out one of the cooler things of these newer Porsche models. These cup holders that fold out of the dashboard here, they're the most over-engineered thing I've ever seen. But I guess it is one way to address the uh, lack of cup holder solution in the uh, center console here. Taking a look at the back seats here, you just pull that lever to move the front seat forward. As you can see, it's very, very small. You're not fitting basically any type of person back there, but it's great for luggage. And I believe that these rear seats do in fact fold down like this. 
and you could put, like I said, some luggage, some groceries, whatever you need on there. So taking a look at what you can actually see with the engine of these uh, 991 Carreras here, pull that latch and all you get is this little uh, opening here that I have to hold up because I believe the gas uh, sh struts are uh, worn here. But as you can see, all you get is some uh, cooling fans, some coolant and your oil top off, as well as some badging. So what's actually in the rear of the 911 here, Carrera 4S, it's a 3.8 liter flat six, around 400 horsepower, 325 foot pounds of torque. It's connected to that seven speed dual clutch PDK transmission with the Sport Chrono package and launch control can do zero to 60 in about 3.9 seconds. Here this uh, flat six start up. Taking a look at the passenger side here, you can see retain the 14-way uh, power adjustable seats, your glove box, same trim on the door here, on the door panel. You have the aluminum uh, door handle here. Well guys, that basically concludes the uh, interior exterior exhaust tour of this beautiful 2014 Porsche 911 Carrera 4S. I really wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And leave a comment on what other cars you'd like to see me try and review. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.